Hello and welcome to the MVS show, episode number 508. <laughs> I'm your host, Oman Sanzo, and well, I'm surprised as you are because we have another full pack week of news right after the other. So, um, yay. That's good, I guess. So let's hop it right into it. Renegade reveals a bunch of stuff about upcoming Pony RPG book and accessories. Renegade Games, the company behind the Pony deck building game and current tabletop RPG hosted an online convention event to show off some of their upcoming offerings for all their fans. During the live stream, they had a big uh, segment about My Little Pony uh, a quick breakdown of what they discuss here. Uh, the design team is just putting the finishing touches on the game. The MLP RPG core book is still set to physically release in June of 2023. Uh, the in a gem adventure and gem screen is still coming out in August 2023. The PDF free with pre-order for all the MLP RPG core books, core rule books, uh, will be available on 14 March 2023. GM participating in Renegade's GM Play program can get an original introductory adventure, the great cake mistake to run at events. Uh, to run at an event. The MLP RPG dice set and dice bag is being sent out to sorry, being sent out now for those who have pre-ordered them. Uh, Renegade Game Studio will be at Gen, Gen Con August 3rd, 2023 throughout August 6th, 2023 uh, and will be running several events in tr including uh, events for the MLP RPG. Head down below to watch videos. Yes. <clears throat> so I've checked out the video, and this is fascinating for me because um, they. Mm, how how do I put this? Uh, this is fascinating because they're not using the uh, the what you call this um. OGL license or OGL uh, game mechanics, they're, they're using their own. Um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it's, uh, I forgot what they called it, but it's their own game mechanics and their own game uh, engine where it's similar. A any RP if you play a lot of RPGs, this, they're all going to be similar and whatnot. But uh, for this one, <clears throat> they're doing a lot of cool things and a lot of neat things. Um, uh, pre before this, uh, what you call this, quote unquote convention, they did an earlier one around uh, January or mid February. Um, Jacob linked me to it, and it was all about uh, My Little Ponies, the tabletop RPG. So, from what I gathered, um, <clears throat> the game here is going to be um, very interesting with how its mechanic works because. Uh, they're still using their own, uh, what you call this, mm, their own game mechanics, uh, adding a few things uh, from Transformers and G.I. Joe and even the Power Rangers tabletop thing. Uh, but one thing that they added for ponies in their game engine is uh, the use of magics. And I think something to do with uh, new, <clears throat> uh, it's not really new, but it's, it's their own game mechanics where you can allocate certain points to go into magic and stuff like that. So yeah, um, uh, magic is something new for them. And from what I heard and gathered is that uh, the way that they use magic is kind of like a pool of magic where uh, if you keep on using your spells and whatnot, you, uh, it deteriorates over time. Um, you get tired. Uh, faster and whatnot. So the game plan for this is you use your magic, go help a friend, it replenishes, and then you can use it again. So 
it, it, it's kind of a very strategic game where I want uh, you want to be unicorn, you want to sling spells and whatnot, and uh, you, you you can do all that, but it's how you balance things out. From okay, I want to do a telekinesis throw, uh, use magic throw boulders and whatnot just to stop the incoming attack, and then uh, on your next turn. I'll go help Pinkie Pie out. That will replenish. From what I understand, is you'll replenish one stock in magic, and you can uh, use it on your next turn. Which, when you think about it, it's kind of interesting. Where uh, as a unicorn, you don't get to use or you get you don't get to sling spells often. Uh, even in D and D, uh, you're limited to certain spell slots. Uh, per day um, except for cantrips but uh, we don't talk about cantrips because cantrips are free and whatnot so, uh, you you have certain spells that you have um, I, I if I remember right you have a certain spell slot of three per day that you can use so uh, you need to be careful for with how you use those spells because if you use all three then they're gone uh, if I do understand the system here for the My Little Pony uh, uh, RPG from Renegades, uh, it's kind of on a pip system where, yes, you use your spells, it, deplete, uh, it, it depletes, you help a friend, it replenish, and you can use it again. So if it's true, then that mechanic there is pretty awesome. Uh, and the way that I envision it is you're not a how do I put this? Uh, most casters in games they want you to stay back from danger. They want you to kind of uh, be in the back line. But with this one, yeah, you can do that. But how would you help your friend? How would you help them in certain needs, like maybe? Um, pick them up or maybe uh, I, I don't know how the mechanic works but th that's what they say um, help a friend or something like that uh, like just support like support your buddies and whatnot so uh, from what I can tell there is a very interesting mechanic where you use your magic support a friend use your magic support a friend so the dynamic there would be really insane but uh, it also depends on what the game is like. Um, uh, do you, uh, for, let's just go for the MDA examples. Do you throw fireball and then uh, patch up your friend with a turner kit or something like that? Or like, is it um, use your spell slots, cantrip, spell slots, cantrip, and so on? I mean, uh, that that could be it. I, I don't know. I, I need to read up and see how the game mechanic works, but it will be interesting to mess around. Anyway, uh, let's move on to the next news. <clears throat> next news is Transformers crossover with My Little Pony in deck building game expansion. Uh, collision course. We have an interesting news for all the Transformers fans out there. A new expansion has been announced for the My Little Pony deck building game from Renegade. There, there isn't an image on their website about it yet, but they do have some details about what you can expect to find. They also have limited time orders in the initiative that includes a pack of seven wooden uh, meeple uh, similar to this what are those that fit the same theme of the crossover uh, are those the meeples uh, do, those look like what uh, I don't know are, what are those oh don't real hmm I, I, I guess they're kind of standees or figures or whatnot. Alright. Uh, meeples. <clears throat> Head down below for the details and pre order. Expect it in September of 2023. Uh, My Little Pony deck building game 
uh, collision course, a transformers crossover expansion pre-order. Uh, let's check this for a bit. All right, no pictures, but it's worth thirty dollars for the expansion. <coughs> also, uh, you have the deck building game with the what GI Joe and Transformers. Uh, that's a crossover expansion, and this is another expansion. Yep. So expansions. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so um, pre-order now for in September twenty twenty-three release for limited time order. You will receive. The My Little Pony deck building game meeple pack 5 for free. The My Little Pony deck building game meeple pack 5 contains 7 wooden meeples uh, featuring the characters from the Coloss, uh, Collision Course expansion. Twilight slash Optimus Prime, Rainbow Dash slash Windblade, Rarity RC, Pinkie Pie, Gage, Fluttershy Soundwave, Applejack, Win. Wild Wheel, Wild Wheel, and Spike and Grimlock. My Little Pony deck building game meeple pack 5 will be added to your card for free when ordering the Collision Course expansion. Due to some magical mayhem, the Transformers find themselves in Equestria. Again! The Decepticons teaming up with the nefarious pony villains can't lead to anything good. The main six and Spike team up with the Autobots as two in one character cards. Ah, oh, interesting. Use the Mighty Autobots ability to gather uh, by gathering Energon on cards or getting an Energon boost by eating Sugar Cube instead. <laughs> okay. So, this feels, or this is pretty awesome uh, if you play the deck building game. Um, I, I think I talked about this last week where cool you can play as the princesses and whatnot but um, this is pretty interesting. Um, you have the base game and you can add in the crossover uh, collision course and if you want to be really insane you could add in almost all of the expansions and make the game really long or really huge or really whatever you want to do. Uh, that is for expansion cards, uh, player rules or player count still is the same. If I'm not mistaken, 2 to 4 or 2 to 6. So, mm, yeah, whatever. But um, for this one, the game is really interesting where you add in a crossover element where new rules apply, I guess. Um, we, we don't really have any indication of what those new rules are, but we do have character cards where... Uh, you have, a, um, you have two combined like um, Twilight Sparkle and Optimus Prime. Um, I, I got no idea how they are going to do this because they say for the uh, wooden people containing uh, teaming up. Okay, good. Due to magical. Where where did I re read that? For uh, the Huh. That's odd. I remember reading it. Uh, that building game consists of seven people. Due to the mean six team up with Spike. Okay, here you go. Um, team up with Autobot as two in one character card. So, does that mean double face? Or two characters in one, so you'll have something like um, what the new Pokemon is doing. <clears throat> new old, I got no idea. I don't play Pokemon, but I have seen it where you can have an example Charizard and Pikachu on one card. So you'll spend fire energy and also electric energy, and the attacks go something like flame throw electric, something like that, and you have to pay fire generic electric i don't know so uh is it that way or is it two-faced cards who knows but this is very interesting where it changed the game dynamic to make even more expansions are fun expansions are fun so if you guys have been following or been buying the uh deck building game uh, this is something for new for you to kind of pick up and play more and last news of the week is 
Tell Your Tale Volume 3 soundtrack officially released on music streaming service. <clears throat> After a little hiccup which, uh, in which it was accidentally released on Spotify last week, the new Tell Your Tale Volume 3 soundtrack single has been officially released and is now available worldwide. The new songs are available on all the new on all the main music streaming platform except YouTube Music. God damn it! <laughs> Including Apple Music, Spotify, De Deezer, and Tidal. The album track list is "Don't Lose Your Groove," "Ain't Gonna Wait," and "Opaline." Uh, this is what we've talked about before, and yeah. Available on all except YouTube Music, and I, 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 I got no idea why. Um, you, they, I, I guess they don't want YouTube Music. Or they don't like YouTube Music. Uh, why? I don't know. It's it's one of those things where it's not profitable. I, I don't know. It's. You know, uh, I'm just sitting here pondering to myself, why no mute YouTube music? Because it's a bad deal for Hasbro. I mean, you want wider reach, right? And um, it could be the way that ad is played. Yeah, I I think that is that 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 could be it. Hmm. So if you if for them to put something up for free. Uh, quote unquote free they need to get revenue back and one of those ways is to advertise put in ads in between um, like if you have a subscription to Spotify but not, uh, not a premium one you'll get ads in between songs so that's how they get you in terms of uh, ads uh, I'm not 100% sure about Apple Music uh, Deezer and Tidal but I'm assuming it's the same uh, but for YouTube uh, because of the way that YouTube works, you have to kind of not insert advertising in children's content. So when you add in ads, uh, YouTube don't like that. And because of how COPA works, Children CO, uh, Children Online Protection Act. Yes, uh, because of how that works. That could be quote unquote predatory and not good or uh, manipulating and so on. So yes, uh, I'm assuming that could be the reason, but I could be wrong. I know American person living in the United States who knows about all this. I could be wrong, but that is, in my opinion, the most logical answer to this issue. So yeah, um, yeah, I guess. But if you do uh, click and search it on the YouTubes for uh, My Little Pony Taylor Tale Volume 3, I'm sure some entrepreneurs or um, what you call this, privateers, have um, done stuff. Yes. But uh, this, this picture here, um, that kind of answers the question of why was it grey? Um, because it wasn't ready to release yet. It needed to cook for another week, I, I guess. But yes, um, if you take a look, see uh, at the original Spotify page. Um, load up Spotify. There we go, there we go. See, it is in color. And if you check out the previous video, it was in black and white also. Uh, if you do check out um, uh, EQD's link, on their news topic or yeah it's in um, gray tone so that explains uh, why that the view was or why it was that way because the video was not ready to or the album was not really ready to go live huh. but that 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 is strange oh, that is strange so anyway um that's the news for this week let's Head on to the next topic and next topic is what have I been doing with my week? <clears throat> Besides magic and D&D? &D? Um, 
nothing much really um been doing uh, magic and D D for a bit uh, got a new person coming into the store playing uh, a new uh, the game uh, he's kind of new he came from the Yu-Gi-Oh uh, what you call this uh, bandwagon and thought that it gotten too complicated and too confusing with all those synchro summons pendulum summons and whatever summons there available now and yeah he, he decided to stop and try to play magic I wouldn't say magic is simple, but it's, and I wouldn't say it's not complicated. It's, it 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 has a different tone. It 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 feels different, if you know what I mean. So yeah, um, he he got in. He's got, he he recently played, and he's having fun, and we're going to play a bit more. So yeah, um, we'll see where that goes. Um, build. I I recently built a deck, uh, a new one. It's Zangief from Street Fighter. It's from the Street Fighter promo. And that card is mean. Mean in the way where you might lose friends. And ooh, when I played him, he, he, he really brought a lot of ire. Oof, that was not... I won't say it's not fun, but it... It drew a lot of ire. So yeah, that's it. Um, anything new? Nothing much really. I don't have anything that I did that was significant. Was well, kind of the end of the month, moving to the new month. So uh, for March, probably I'll. <laughs> I'll probably go watch a movie with a friend. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Um, yeah, this is what I give me a second. I'm trying to find the official title. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, there's no poster. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see if I can find the before and after picture. I guess this is a good compromise. Um, good thing. All right. Okay. Cool. So uh, I'm gonna watch a movie called DDN Friends. So um, what DDN Friends is is basically a children's uh, show. Uh, it's in. It's akin to Barney and Friends or whatever it is. I mean. It's, it's akin to that and uh, this is how they look or how it looks like uh, way back way back when so the movie is really cheap sorry um, the animation was simple and straight to the point um, it was a, a children's show where they sing songs modified for uh, let's say ping pong similar to ping pong and how that um, mechanic works and yeah this is for the local industry or not so so when they decide to say hey um, let's make a movie uh, you know honestly when I was watching another movie I told my friend hey um, when do you think this one's gonna get a movie lol <laughs> thinking that it wouldn't and suddenly nope stop stop that Suddenly I get this. Wait, what? <laughs> and to my surprise, um, uh, th this is not really a good poster. Let me see if I can find a better one. Why, why are they not giving me posters? Like, Wiki, please help me because I want to show public this movie. No, no posters? What? Why? Not even official website? I, I guess. Yeah, this is official website. Let's see. Let's see if I can get anything out of this. Okay, yeah, wow, the big. Oh no, stop that. Stop that autoplay person, you. Wow, website is loading really slow, and this is not because of a lot of people coming in. This is just. <sighs> okay. I'm tired. I'm just gonna use this blurry one. You, you deal with it. 
So, <clears throat> like I was saying, uh, it came out, the graphics images was really amazing and really wow. And when you look at it from this to this, it was, look at the monkey man, look at the monkey man. It's like, okay, you pump it up to 11 plus more. So that's good. I guess the budget thing was there. And I got no idea what the story is going to be about. So, um, the the move the movie text here looks similar to the My Little Pony movie text. Why am I dreaming? I let you decide. Let's see if this. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there, there we go. That's a nice poster. Yeah, you got all of the, what you call this, Malaysian artist that, you know, I got no idea. I, I guess they're popular somehow, maybe, I, I don't know. But anywho, yes, we, we got this, this is going to be cool. And I guess we just have to wait and see, like, I, I'll probably come back next week, I hope. Uh, telling you all about my adventures with this movie. About I got no idea. From what I saw in trailers, you have kids riding in pickup trucks, jeeps, vans, whatever, and fighting aliens. I guess what? I don't know. This movie is strange. So yeah, that's going to be my next week. I, I think that that's going to be something. I, I hope I can come in and tell you guys how awesome it was. And you can guys, uh, you guys can go check it out if it's available. <sighs> I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm, I, I, I have no idea. So anyway, uh, let's wrap it up. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themishowgmail at themishowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at themishowgmail.com. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, Stitch Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also uh, catch us on www.live.com. Links are in the show notes. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash themishowgmail.com. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, Master of Black, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the Show. See ya.